Hey everybody, I'm Heather, that's B, and that's Alan. Hey guys. We and that's Say La V3. That's right, that's us. we're Say La V3. <laughs> we are talking about cabinets for our van that we are taking to Europe. 2016 Ram Promaster, about two months left and counting, and we're going to Europe. We are going to talk cabinetry today, if you can understand us through our colds. Yeah, we're a little stuffy still. Yeah. Um, we are short on time. He's still working, I'm still homeschooling, life still happens. Um, we are going to move if we're ready or not. So we didn't really have time to do custom cabinetry. And we didn't really like, have- Like custom, you mean building it and framing it out? Yes, on. yeah. And we really don't have that knowledge either. Oh my God, there's a big black. Ah, it's big. Ugh. All right, crisis averted. Okay. I don't remember what I was talking about. Uh, we were talking about cabinets. Yeah. So we just didn't have the time yeah. to buy the supplies, cut everything, frame, frame it. it. Yeah, bolt it. All of that, I don't even know, and paint it, and then install it. So we stumbled upon these at Lowe's. Um, they are standard 24 inches deep. They are for kitchens and bathrooms. They're pre-made. They are fairly cheap. And are they, would you say they're cheaply made? Oh yeah. They're cheaply made. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but they're light. Yeah. So there's no, there's no screws in any of these. They're all uh, just a lot of glue and then some staples. And that's about it. So that's what we went with. Um, it's kind of uncommon in the van life, I think. A lot of people do the custom cabinets, so you can make them, you know, 20 and even like in the teens, 20, yeah. which gives you, you know, a lot more space, um, which you need. But at the same time, I liked this concept because I'm coming, I mean, I'm coming from an RV, which is not bigger, you know, I don't know, it's smaller than a house, but I worry about storage. And so I was happy with this because it gave me more storage. So we got these. There's five of them total. We like how it came out. Yeah, um, we're not bold color choice people, but I don't know. It reminds me of the sky. And I think in a van you need light colors. Um, that's my personal preference. Some technical stuff for you guys. I think all together, each cabinet probably weighed in somewhere between uh, the very smallest weighed about 25 to 30 pounds. Uh, and that was like this little 15 inch guy with one drawer. Uh, so these are really light. I think the biggest one probably weighed in around 45 and that was this double drawer, uh, double door over yeah. here on the other end. Uh, and then other things I want to throw at you is width. So all together, the van is around 72 to 73 inches. By the time you get done putting the walls in, you're probably closer to 69 inches. Each one of these being roughly 24 inches from the wall, you lose about 50 inches right there. So we got a path about give or take about 20 inch path that goes front to back now. So at, I think all together it was a perfect fit. We needed 55 inches on this side and we needed 75, 75. inches on this side. And Heather got into the Lowe's unfinished cabinets. Like all these are off the shelf, ready to go. <clears throat> Anybody can go in and pick them up. Yeah. And uh, it was, I think within about an inch. Yeah. I think you got everything to within an inch of where we needed to be. It was, yeah. it, it worked out great. Uh, I really liked it. Um, I am gonna have to go back in and reinforce some of the back of these uh, just to kind of strengthen them up. They are not gonna be strong enough to hold. Like this is gonna have the water tank inside of it. And the sink. This is our sink one. And the water tank can't sit on top of this MDF board that it's made out of. So I'm gonna cut a hole in the bottom of it so it sits onto the floor of the actual dam. Uh, things like that. The same thing's gonna happen over here with the batteries. The batteries are going to be too heavy to sit on the, board, on, the, on the MDF board, so we're going to throw them in uh, or cut a hole out of the bottom and let them sit on the flan, on the van floor. All together, I think like this project was rather straightforward. Um, I was I was happy how smooth it was. It was fun. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't like painting? We don't really paint ever, no. but 
We had fun. He had fun. He painted with me. He was my helper. Yeah. Did you enjoy painting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did we pick a good color? We did about two coats on everything. The uh, cabinets themselves are, uh, you'll see in here, mounted to the back of the frame. We used uh, some uh, two by, one by four, <coughs> sorry, one by fours to mount those up. And I mean, the nice thing about them, they're so light that they didn't actually put a lot of weight into the into the actual uh, van itself. Yeah. I think altogether we only went up about 275 pounds with all the cabinets, the hardware, and some of the mounting and some of the other pieces, uh, framing that I'm going to need to read it. Uh, reinforce it. So take a look at this video. Take a look at this video. Take a look at this video. <laughs> take a look at this video. This is a video you gotta take a look at. Take a look at it. <laughs> we are at uh, Lowe's right now and we are gonna go pick out some cabinets. Woohoo! Where are we putting the cabinets? In the back. That's right. <sighs> this is gonna be a quick trip. Real quick. Yeah, right. That's cute. Today we are doing cabinets, finally. Um, these cabinets are your unfinished wood panel front from Lowe's. They're your typical kitchen cabinets. They're about 35 inches high, 24 inches deep. And then of course we got um, various sizes and widths depending on where in the van it was going. We bought five of them total. Um, we picked out a color from actually Home Depot. Um, I thought I had the sheet. Oh, I got the sheet right here. From Home Depot, it's got a cute little color palette there. And the, I probably covered it up, but that silver or gray right there is about the color of our seats, our Sienna um, Toyota seats. And we really liked this color pattern. So we went with the blue, which is called Valley of Glaciers, in case anybody's wanting to know. It is a bear painting um, product. So we picked that up. We are going to paint the base cabinets with that. And then we're hoping to do some kind of wood countertop. Haven't quite gotten that far yet. So in order to get these ready for the van, we are going to sand down the front of the cabinets and get them ready for paint. Uh, some of these, since they're cheaply made, are uneven on the, um, the cabinet doors. So Alan's going to adjust those if they need adjusting. We are going to paint them with the blue color from Home Depot. We're probably going to do about two coats of paint because we won't be priming it. So we'll put a good solid color on there. Um, these will go straight into the van. There's some other ones. They're located above the wheel well. So those will actually need to be cut out around the wheel well. That way they'll sit flush with the side of the van. So Alan is going to be working on that while I'm working on painting some of these that don't need to be cut. Once these are in the van, we're going to screw them down. That way they're not moving around um, every time we do a turn or a hard break. And then after that, Alan's going to notch out areas for plumbing and electrical wire. And hopefully we should be on our way. I think after that is going to be at least my exciting thing that I'm looking forward to is going to be the floor. Alan's got a ton of other stuff with electrical and plumbing and all of that stuff that I just mentioned. Um, so there's still a lot more to come.
What's wrong? Ah! You did, you did the fifteen, didn't you? Wait, I'm supposed to do the 15. I'm supposed to do the 15. Hold on. Right? Right? I'm supposed to cut yeah, the 15. Yeah, you are. Okay. Minor freak okay. out, people, but we're Minor good. Minor freak out. I thought I was supposed to cut the 15 inch wide one, or the 18 inch wide one all of a sudden because I was looking, I was turning around. Whew. The good news is we're good. Okay, let's try to fit it back in. Put the camera back down. Let's okay. See, see if we can get it. You got it? I don't need to go through, do I? Oh, wait, you need to go. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to attach a little piece of uh, pine board to the side of the van and I'm going to screw the back of the cabinets into here. Um, I was going to have to go through all the paint of doing a rib nut so that way it would be easy in and out. Uh, Promaster did a great job. They built in holes at uniform distances all the way down the beam and they gave you big access points to the back of them. This is going to be easy. So I'm just going to, I should stop saying that, but I'm going to slap this board up here and then I'm going to put the cabinets back in and then we're going to drill into this with just uh, some wood screws and that'll hold it temporarily until we can finish doing the cabinets and some other stuff and I'll come back and I'll use actual um, bolts to go into the uh, frame again. That way it'll be more permanent. Um, let's have fun. No proof. See? No proof. Right. No proof. It didn't happen. What are we doing today? Um, we are <laughs> we're finishing up painting. Funny story. I did all the painting. I thought I was done. And then I opened the doors after we installed the cabinets and then there's one side that has no paint on it. So we're painting some new sides and repainting some other ones. We are also, or at least Alan is, installing hardware onto the cabinets that we picked out. So I was kind of, I feel like I was kind of picky with the hardware. I, hold on, poof. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we picked this hardware, it's like a brushed nickel. Um, my requirements were I couldn't Thank you, Oh, I couldn't get it something that was just like a circle um, because that seems to hook on your pockets a bit. And you know, it, this is such a small space walking down the aisle, boom, you're stuck. So I picked these because I feel like when you're walking by, they won't hook too much. Um, so, and we could use these for the drawers or for the cabinets. So these are the ones that we went with. And I feel like it looks really good with the color. So, do they know what the color is? Yeah. I guess it's all over my hands. Yeah, and then those? These, we have in our RV, and we had to install, we tried magnets. Magnets did not hold them, um, but we needed something that was gonna hold the cabinets and the drawers closed when driving. Yeah, so, these are, 
these are what we decided to go with. On some of the drawers, we're having to do two, but most of them, one it was sufficient enough. I think they call them like, I've heard them call different things like bulldog latches and some other stuff. Yeah, double roller catch, I don't know. So they seem to have worked so far but we need more, so we're installing the rest of them today. I am putting the uh, drawer pulls in, mm -hmm. and I have made, oddly enough, the most appropriate measuring tool. We used our right angle, yep. right? That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And um, put our, um, figured out where we wanted it to go, and then put our drawer pull on there and took a photocopy of it and now all I do is I make sure everything lines up make sure these lines I did some indentations on the original one so just on the other ones I just kind of make sure that they fall in line with those original ones and then I have the husband drill which means it's time for me to drill that's right I just finished up painting there's the hardware and then she painted the backs so little by little all right so uh well the sink cabinet that we had didn't come with uh, an actual like drawer that you pull out instead it had the fake face um and a lot of guys have this and it's like the same thing you have in your sink so no drawer it just kind of snapped in on either side so you could have a pretend thing so uh we went to home depot and we got Rev shelf. So the idea behind it is it just puts the uh, you can see that it puts the actual let me focus the uh, drawer on a hinge so you can hinge it out and it has little cups you can see here and here and I'm just going to throw that on as Heather finishes up putting the hardware for the uh, cabinet drawers on. This is She's struggling. She put the uh, screws on backwards. What do you mean? Those uh, wood screws go on the outside holes. That middle screw goes on the top holes. I was wondering, but let's be honest, this one doesn't even look like it goes to any of them. Do what the kids said. That's right. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you guys have any questions, also put those down. Um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next uh, segment here. It's going to be Heather doing the vinyl floor. Yes. Getting yes. one step closer. Just steps and steps and steps. That's right. Baby steps. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Later. It's not very much. You're gonna it's say not. Bye. You have to clap to turn it off. You're so bye.